everyone and welcome back to Feature Highlights on Pipso TV channel. My name is Inisha and today I'll show you how to format your text input in posts and comments using Markdown. Markdown is one of those features that have been in Pipso since early days. It's absolutely free, but it's not immediately obvious. Before we set it up, it is important to understand what Markdown is and what it can or can do for the text formatting. By definition, Markdown is a text-to-HTML conversion tool for web writers. It allows you to write using an easy-to-read, easy-to-write plain text format, then convert it to structurally valid HTML, as shown here. In other words, we will use the text-based writing syntax and then generate some HTML. Let me show you how to set it up and how to let your users know they can use it too. To start using Markdown on your website, go to your WordPress dashboard, go to Pipso configuration. Let's show tab titles so it will be easier. Find the Markdown tab and then enable in posts, enable in comments, and if you use groups plugin, enable in group descriptions. Save settings and make sure that options are updated. Before going into front-end and in frustration trying to find where are the options for the markdown, because you can not really find them here, I want you to go back to the dashboard and read this section over here, and especially this Wikipedia link, which will explain everything you need to know about the markdown and even teach you how to use the corresponding syntax. After that, I also suggest you create a widget for your users and explain them how to use the markdown syntax in their posts. Now that you know all about markdown syntax, let's try to put it into the practice. Go back to your markdown configuration, copy everything here and passed it to the stream posts and see what happens. A lot of different things have, have been created. Most notably, headers, bold text, italic, inline code, and strike through text. Links didn't work because of the formatting typo here, and we are going to fix that in the, in the next version. But let me let me show you how how links work. If I do just this, and post it, this will create a link that goes to pipso.com. Let me edit that post so you can see the configuration. So, exactly as it explained here, first you need to start writing the open bracket. Text that will show as a link. Close the bracket, then open a new one like this and say go to pipsaw.com. Post it. Try it. And we go exactly where we said it to go. Okay, so what about bold, italic, and inline code? Let's try those as well. If you look here, bold text is made with two opening stars and two closing stars. Let's copy it, paste, and post to create a bold text. So how do you do this in a sentence? Let me show you how to do it. I'm just going to take this sentence, create my post, and I want this shocking news to be bold. I'm going to add two stars here 
two stars here. What about Olympics in China? Yeah, I want that to be bold as well. Let's say the name of this guy I want to be Italic. So I will use only one star for Italic text. And I want this number to also be Italic. Post it. And what do we said? Shocking news, Olympics in China is bold. This number is italic and this guy's name is italic as well. If your question now is, what about bold and italic at the same time? Well, just do the three stars like this. So one, two, three, bold italic text, close it with three stars, and let's see, it's bold and italic at the same time. Following the same principle, we can create inline code and strike through text. So let's try with those two. Strike through is created with two tilde buttons. That is the button usually found below the escape button on your keyboard. So let's pass that through, post it, and it will be strike through. Inline code is created like this. Another line of code. and another line of code. Post it, and you'll see it like this. Now that we know the entire syntax, let's try to style this entire text. So, to create a title, we're going to put two hashtag signs, because that will create an H2 tag. Then overriding design goal, we want to we want that to be bold and italic. So we will put three stars. Markdown we want to be italic. So it's only one star. This plain text part we want to be, I don't know, just bold. Let's this syntax has been influenced, has been influenced, we want to strike that through, so like this. And eventually, we want this text email to become a link. So we will do it like this, put it in the opening bracket, closing bracket, and then open a new one and add a link. Post it. And our new post is nicely styled with the markdown. The same thing can also be used for the for the comments. To speed the process up, let's just edit this post, copy the entire thing, pass it into the comment, and the comment is styled as well. And that is all I have for you today. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to be notified when next video comes out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too, links will be in the description below. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye!